In this video I'll try to do 5 different slide designs in less than 10 minutes, so that means 2 minutes per slide. I'll work as quick as I can, so feel free to pause at any time if I'm going too fast, and the timer has already started, so for the first slide I'll start by inserting a rounded rectangle and I'll round off the edges with the yellow dot and then I'm just gonna duplicate them holding control on my keyboard and I'll make them a little bit larger and then I'm just gonna make some of them shorter than the others and once you're happy with the sizes of all of them just select them go to shape format merge shapes and click on union then right click on it click on format shape go to fill and let's pick an image from the picture or texture fill panel and I'm just gonna pick a stock image so for this one let's make it about Antarctica so I'll just pick this image I'll click on insert and then let's adjust the picture so go to picture format crop and select fill and now I'll get rid of the outline so just go to line and click on no outline and this is looking so good so let's change the color of the background I'll choose the eyedropper tool and pick the darkest color from the image and then I'll insert a text box for the title and I'll just write the word Antarctica and here let's just pick a font so I'll just choose um, a Harani which I believe is a font that I downloaded at some point so let's just make it larger and put it right here and I feel like the time is running so quick so I need to hurry up I'll just change the color to yellow and I'll add a shadow from the text effects panel and now the only thing missing is a uh, description so let's add another text box and for now I'm just gonna use placeholder text so with the lorem ipsum formula I just added some text and I'm gonna change the color to white and that's our first slide done all right let's add a new slide and I'll pick a square for this one I'll insert it holding shift on my keyboard and then I'm gonna drag it holding control on my keyboard to duplicate it and I'll just create like these six squares grid and now I'm gonna select everything go to shape format merge shapes click on union and now I'm gonna get rid of the outline and I'm gonna insert a new image so for this one I'm gonna look for the word New York and I'm gonna insert this one right here because it looks distorted I'll go to picture format crop and then fill and here you can also reposition your image all right I'll pick a different background color again from the image and now it's time to add our title so here I'm just gonna write the word New York I'll pick one of my favorite fonts Bibas I'll make it larger and put it right here in this space now I'm gonna duplicate this text box and replace it with numbers so I'll just write the numbers 0 1 and put it right here and then I'll duplicate this exact same text box and just replace the numbers as well I'll copy the placeholder text from the previous slide paste it right here and now I'll just delete a little bit of the text because it's too long so maybe we have like three different bullet points here so okay let's duplicate it holding control on your keyboard to the other numbers and that's our second slide done all right for the third slide let's go to insert and here I'm gonna pick a photo so for this one I'm gonna look for a picture of mountains and I like this one because it's a little bit dark and here I'm just gonna copy the same um, bullet points or steps that we have on the previous slide I'm gonna paste them right here but for these ones I'm gonna center align the text and then I'm gonna group everything with Control G and I'll just extend the text boxes slightly if you want to make sure that everything's aligned just go to shape format align and align to center and now let's just copy a title so I'll just copy this one from the first slide I'll paste it right here I'll replace the text and I will center align it as well and for this one I'm gonna pick a different font so um, I'm gonna change the color to white and then I'm gonna select 
um, Gotham. Where is it? Where is it? I'm running out of time. Here you go, Gotham Thin. Let's make it a little bit smaller and I'll put it right here. I duplicated the text box for the word the. And now let's just make sure that everything is aligned and move it a little bit um, down. And that's our third slide done. Also, I'm sorry for screaming, but I'm feeling the pressure. We have less than five minutes, so let's copy paste the description from the first slide. I'll change the color to black and I'll copy the title from the second slide, this one right here, because I like the font and I don't want to have to format it again. So I'll just change the color to black and here I'll just write um, visit a new. I'll put it right here and duplicate it and then I'll write the word destination. And now I'll just make sure that everything is aligned. So shape format align and align to left. Let's make sure everything is centered within the slide. So group it, shape format, align and align to middle. And now I'll insert a rounded rectangle. So um, I'll just put it right here and duplicate it holding control on my keyboard make it a little bit larger and then I'm gonna duplicate these shapes as well but I'll move these ones up and then I'll just duplicate this one at the top and put it right here and for these two I'm just gonna select no line and I'm gonna change the color to gray and now let's just select the rest of them click on no line and I'll just move them a little bit closer to the text and now it's time to add a picture field to our shapes. So I'll just pick different activities. Um, for the first one, I'll just pick hiking and I'll just choose this image. Go to picture format crop and select fill. Oh my God, we only have three minutes. So let's hurry up. I'll pick a different activity for this one. So swim. Um, oh my God, which one, which one? Uh, probably this one this one, this one right here. Let's click on insert. And again, let's go to picture format crop and I'll just reposition the image. And now we only have one image to go. So select picture texture field, click on insert. Let's see what happens when we look for travel. I don't have time. So I'll just pick this image and click on insert. Let's reposition our image from the crop um, option. I'll just move it a little bit to the left and make it a little bit larger. And we only have one slide to go and a little bit over two minutes. So for this one, I'm just gonna copy some text from our previous slide. So I'll just pick this one from the previous slide and paste it right here. I'll center align everything and center it within the slide. So just group it, shape format, align to center and align to middle. Now let's change the word to technology. Right click on the slide to change the background and let's select a picture or texture field from stock images. And here I'll just look for technology pictures and I'm looking for a very dark image. So maybe something like this one. Mm, no, I'm, I'm not convinced. So let's go to insert again, stock images and let's pick a different picture. I'll just look for the word data this time. Um, time is running out, so I'll just pick this one and click on insert. And yes, this one's perfect, so I'll just change the color of the text to white. And I'll just decrease the brightness of the picture so the text pops up a little bit more. And I'll just insert a rounded rectangle. I'll add it here. Put it in the center of the slide and I'll add an outline, a white outline, and I'll get rid of the shape fill. Duplicate the shape with Ctrl D and I'll just rotate it slightly and make it larger as well. And I'll duplicate it again, make it a little bit smaller this time and I'll just rotate it and just create a fun pattern. We got less than 30 seconds, so this is the last shape that I'm gonna do. Rotate it a little bit more. And now we got these like abstract shapes that look really cool. I'll make sure that everything's aligned within the middle. 
And we're done guys. These are the five designs that I did under 10 minutes. That was a really hard challenge. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Remember to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at PPT, and I have all of my templates available in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you on my next video.